Hey friends, Ash here with Incense. Today I'm checking out Le Mans Le Parfum, the new flanker from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one's been getting some love and a little bit of hate in the fragrance community. And in this video, I wanna share with you guys my overall thoughts on this fragrance and whether I think it is good or not so good. We're gonna check out the presentation like always. And I'm also gonna give away this right here. This is still sealed. Yeah, the video is not sponsored by anybody except for myself, I guess. I bought two bottles of this, not really on accident, but kind of on accident. So this one I bought from uh, Europe and they said they had canceled my order. So I was like, oh, well that sucks. And then this popped up on Fragrance Buy for sale. So I ordered it from there and then they said, oh, just playing, we're actually not out of stock. So then I got this one in and this one in and I don't have any need or use for this one. So one of you can get it. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Also guys, I'm gonna leave in the description below some links to Lamal flankers at discounters. And if I can find this one in stock at a discounter, that will be linked below in the description as well. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video really helps me out and uh, keeps me going with these daily uploads. So I appreciate all you guys out there. First off, let's take a look at the presentation. Since I have this one that's still sealed, I'll show you guys how it comes when you first get it in. It's really the exact same, obviously, except for this. On the back, the cellophane has a little bottle picture there. Eau de Parfum Intense. Now let's check out mine, which is a little worse for wear than that one because this one got punched by somebody or drop kicked on its way over here from France. Oh well, you can see right there, a little ding. That one does not have the ding, but figured I'd give one of you the still sealed one since it's a little nicer and it's okay, you know, I'll, I'll deal with the busted one. Okay, so you've got here the name of the house, the name of the fragrance right on the front, Le Mal, Le Parfum. This is your typical Le Mal style of presentation. It's a can, of course, and I have to say this every single time because I feel like I've prevented at least one person from doing this. And if I've prevented one person from doing this, I've done my job, so I'm gonna keep bringing it up. Don't open this with a can opener, okay? Don't do it. Just pull from the bottom. See, look, pull down. Usually it's easier than this, but pull down. See, I know 99% of you are like, nobody's ever done that, but they actually have. <laughs> I've actually gotten uh, emails in the past from people thanking me for, for showing them this. So anyway, you get this and fragrance sits down inside like that. And that's how it's gonna come, unless it's come loose in transit, that happens sometimes. And then on the bottom, you have your badge code 00801. And then here you have your bottle. This is your typical Le Mal style bottle, the male torso with the package down there at the bottom. This one is in a nice matte black finish with black stripes. You got the name of the house, Gautier, right there on the back. And then on the bottom, you'll find your batch code. Now the batch code is not super easy to find, but it's right over here etched into the glass. So you'll have to search for it, but it's, it's right there. Then you remove the pin like so, and I'll give you guys a couple sprays. Really nice atomizer, same as all the Lamal fragrances. Let's finally start talking about the fragrance. Like I said, this one's gotten some hate, it's got some love. So where do I fall? Mm, let's find out. When I first spray it on, it reminds me a little bit of the smell of black rubber. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just, it gives me this, this little bit of a reminiscence of fragrances like Bulgari Black or Prada Lunarosa Black something in that vein, in that style, just in the opening. Like I said, I don't mean it negatively. It's sweet, it's powdery, it's rich, it's got some depth. The vanilla and the lavender combo in the opening does remind me of the Eau de Toilette, which I mentioned in the first impression video of this fragrance. It's not the same as the EDT, but it's definitely um, in that same style. So a little bit like the EDT, but darker and richer with that black kind of aspect to it. It's got some very nice warmth early on. It's got this sweet spiciness that's kind of headed up by cardamom early in the fragrance's lifespan. Kind of makes it really enticing 
off of your skin. You kind of keep going back to it. And there's this nice little touch of iris. It's never a focal point in the fragrance. It's never one of the things that is gonna jump out at you. It sits underneath the lavender, underneath the vanilla, underneath the cardamom. But the iris is there. It lends this additional touch of powder a little bit, but adds some richness and some density, some depth to the fragrance. And then as it dries down, it takes on this kind of woody, ambery tone, which is um, really common nowadays in designer men's fragrances. I'm not saying that it, this fragrance smells exactly like anything else out there. I'm just saying woody ambers are used very often, and it's used in here as well once you hit the dry down. That Swedish spicy feel, you still have that in the dry down of the fragrance. It's toned down a little bit, but it's still there. And in the dry down, this one actually, to me, comes across a little bit warm and cozy. Now, the vanilla and the lavender are the two main things from Le Mal, the Eau de Toilette, uh, that get mentioned. So I'll say that the lavender here is most prominent in the opening in the mid, uh, not as much in the dry down. And the vanilla is present through the whole thing. So for me, this one, like I said, kind of like the Eau de Toilette, made darker, a little richer, more modern almost like you took the Lamal DNA and maybe mixed in a little bit of DNA from some other fragrances, maybe a, a tiny splash of La Nuit de Lome in there, a little bit of one of those black scents that I mentioned earlier. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's Lamal Le Parfum. Before I talk about my feelings of this one, whether I think it's a really good release or not a good release or whatever, let's talk about performance really quickly. Some people online have, uh, seem to have some issues with performance on this one. I've, I've seen some people say that it just doesn't last at all, that it's a piece of trash, <laughs> that it's gone before you know it. You know, it's a whisper of a fragrance that you spray on and, and you just can't get it. Like, where, where did it go? Uh, for me, that's not the case. That's not the case at all, actually. It's a really good performer for me. So when I first spray this one on, projection, strong really really nice this is the type of fragrance that i i don't have to go overboard on so for the first couple hours i get solid projection uh, anybody around me is going to be able to pick it up if i'm moving around you know anybody in my vicinity is going to be able to smell this longevity also really good for me uh seven eight plus hours right in that range so something for me to complain about really like i said i've seen some people say that it just doesn't work for them but for me it does so I can just tell you guys for me personally, my experiences with it, how it works. So for me, above average performer all the way around. Season wise, pretty good amount of versatility here. You could wear it in spring, fall, or winter. It's gonna lean more fall and winter than spring, but I think any neutral weather or cool weather situation is gonna work really well. Probably not one that I'd really reach for in summertime though. It's not really refreshing. That being said, like I've said a million times on this channel, wear it whenever you want. If you like the fragrance, you wanna wear it in summer, knock yourself out. The fragrance police are not gonna kick your door down and punch you in the face and take this fragrance from you and say, you can't wear that in the summer. Didn't you look on Fragrantica? That's not gonna happen. So just wear it whenever you want. But for me, fall, winter, spring. As far as day or nighttime fragrance, it leans a little bit more toward being a nighttime scent. Part of that could be marketing with this black bottle, making me think of, you know, nighttime type situations. But for me, it leans a little more toward nighttime wear, though. You could wear it during the day just as easily. Situations, casual, date night, night out. It's pretty much what I'd go for. Not really an office type fragrance for me and not really a business type fragrance in general. Okay. Now we get to the part where I tell you guys my thoughts, whether I like it or not, whether it's a good flanker or not a good flanker in my opinion. For me, I do like it. I think it's really solid. Kind of, if you wanna break it down super simply and update on the original Eau de Toilette, again, modernized, made a little darker, a little richer, but still. So if you like the original, you should like this one as well. And I think that nowadays, this one is much more wearable than the original just by those tweaks. The original has been popular for so long that it's kind of played out for a lot of people, but this one isn't yet. I'll also say this is one of my favorite flankers they've come out with over the past four, five years. One of my favorite, not my favorite for sure, but one of them. 
So I think it's actually really good, and I prefer this to Le Beau. So that one I feel like is one of the more recent flankers that got people talking. Between the two, I would rather wear this one. And that's not a shot at Le Beau, I just think Le Parfum smells better. I'm not telling you it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance or anything like that, but if I were forced to give like thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle, I'd give it a thumbs up. So Le Mal Le Parfum, pretty good, solid. If you want to be entered in the giveaway for this one, make sure you like the video, be subscribed, and leave a comment below letting me know your favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. Which one is it? One of the many, 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 many flankers or the original? I'm usually a little late drawing the winner with the YouTube random comment picker, but it will be roughly in a week to a week and a half from when this video goes live that I do pick a winner using YouTube random comment picker and post that on the community tab of my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed again so that you can see who the winner is. And whoever wins, shoot me an email with your address and I'll get this to you. Lucky you. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.